How you doing guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci. Just wanted to give thanks to everybody that has subscribed to our channel and especially today is Thanksgiving and I wanted to give a little thanks to y'all because without y'all I would not be doing what I'm doing. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and from our family as well. So from our family to yours, have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of turkey because I know I am just about ready. Y'all have a good one. And here's a little uh, side note of a trip that we went to the other day caught a little stingray but it was a prime example of how to release the stingray safely for both you and the stingray so check it out guys um, we're out here fishing and we've just caught this live stingray but the thing about stingrays is they have the poisonous tail back here and this barb is not to be played with I mean they're extremely sharp on both sides it's a razor blade on both sides now a lot of people tend to cut the tail off you don't want to do that because if you're gonna release it you've basically cut their backbone in half and they're going to bleed out and basically you're throwing it away. If you want to release it without worry about getting punctured or letting the kids kind of see it, what you want to do is just simply cut off the barb, as I've done right there, and see, and they don't lose any blood. These are actually things so that way they can penetrate their predator and, uh, you know, pull away from the body and they can escape and they'll grow a new one. So it won't be anything to pull the barb off. That way you can safely handle them and release them if you're not going to keep them. So if this is a, a southern stingray, I would definitely be going for it to keep it as a bait. But it's not, so no reason for me to really keep it other than this. Nice. There you go. Off to be bait another day. <laughs> 